Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Mighty Thor or Jane Foster Thor made by Hasbro. Take a look at the packaging, just the usual Marvel Legends packaging. You can see the window exposing the figure and her accessories. Does have does read Thor Love and Thunder, Mighty Thor's name, Hasbro logo. On the side, you get a cool artwork image of Thor, Mighty Thor. On the other side, same thing. You get the, the logo, Thor's hammer, but with some cracks on it. And here's the UPC if you want to look for this figure for yourself. On the back, here's a bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video. And there's other figures from the from this line. So that's about it. Let's take out Mighty Thor out of the package. Here is Mighty Thor out of the package. Let's take a closer look. The likeness to Natalie Bortman, I would say it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's really a, a decent likeness to Natalie Portman. I'd say they did really a great job with her head sculpt. Her likeness looks really decent. And you take a look at her hair. Well, originally her hair was actually, um, well, black colored hair, if I believe, in the previous Thor films. I don't know how she dyed her hair blonde. Probably only works for the, um, for the character from the comics, which I can understand why. But it has some nice texturing details on her hair there. And also you can see like a little bit of shades of her hair right there. Take a look at her armor. I would say they did really a great job with her outfit. You get the uh, some painted silver on there. You get the, the gauntlets on each side. You can see some sculpted straps on like the gloves area. You can see more silver paint on the, um, the skirt thing. You see some texturing details there. And you can see one right there. And also you can see more texturing details on the back there. And you move the hair, you see more of those uh, silver painting there. Oof, yeah, miss paint. I'm pretty sure it's covered like that. Uh, take a look at her hands. You can see one hand doing for a gripping hand for holding on her Mjolnir. The other hand is for, well... Well, may, maybe make some dramatic poses. Take a look at her legs. There's nothing much. It's plain black. But you can see some little bit of wrinkles on like the thigh areas there. Take a look at the legs. You can see there's her wings, legs on there. You get her knee pads there. You get some silver painting on there. And on the bottom, there's some legalese and two pickles in the bottom of her feet there. Overall, for the figure itself, I really do like this figure. The head sculpt is really decent. The sculpting on the figure looks really good. Articulation, the head doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by her long hair and the, the one in the front there as well. The arms don't, doesn't go fully rotate, but does go in and out. Upper arms fully rotate. Don't put jointed elbows. The wrists do rotate and has the hinge. And there's the um, chest rotation, pit for back. Legs kick forward and back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. Double jointed knees. Kicking her on behind. And the angles do go pit for back and angle pivot side to side. So it's just a standard Marble Legends articulation, but you can still give her some action pose abilities. Accessories, she does come with. And then changeable head, the helmeted head. Yeah, I might probably might display her like this. But take a look at the head. I'd say not too bad. Very well sculpted on her on hell on her helmet. And you like her eyes there. And get the uh, little symbol on the top here. I'm, I have no idea what that means to be honest. Well, the movie hasn't been out yet, so probably wait for it. So let's pop. The head. Let me do this off camera. There we go. And take this head here. And there we go. Oh. And 
And there you have Mighty Thor with her helmet on. And you can see he's made of flexible plastic. So he needs to straight that out a little bit. The other thing that looks good on her, I might display her like that. She also does come with her Mjolnir, which I'm pretty sure is exactly the same Mjolnir that we have along since what we have from the previous Thor figures that I have. But this one has like some sort of cracks all over it because, you know, in the in Ragnarok, Bal not Valkyrie, Hela captured the Mjolnir and crushed it. Yeah, so I'm not sure how did she fix it. Again, the movie hasn't been out yet, so we might wait until the movie is out. And so here she is. You can have her flying or some fighting poses. Yeah. And finally, since she is part of the collecting, I'm sorry, the build a figure piece wave, she does come with the right left leg of Korg. Yeah. So she will, Korg will be taller than his friends. Well, obviously, because come on, Cork is a giant rock. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact of the same size as the, the two pack version of Cork that Hasbro made with the, with the Grandmaster figure. But anyway, overall, the figure itself looks really good. The likeness to Natalie Portman on the unhelmeted version looks really decent. Sculpting wise, looks really good. Articulation, standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you can still give her some crazy action possibilities. At the end of the day, I think I definitely recommend getting this figure at your local places. I'm pretty sure she's still available at Amazon for the retail price, so go ahead, pick her up. I I recommend for you to put the recommend for you to have this on your shelf. You can either have her as a MCU collection or a comic book collection because, well, she seems a little, she looks almost identical to the comic book version to me. I'm pretty sure. But again, I definitely recommend getting this figure. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Mighty Thor figure made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.